So I would like to introduce uh, one of our partners, IHS Market, uh, to show you what they are doing to help support everyday business workflows in your organization. And to do that, I'd like to introduce Kay Sutter. Kay? Thank you, Adam. Good morning, everyone. So all of the focus, as you've heard this morning, is so much on simplifying workflows, simplifying access getting the right information to the fingertips at the right time. And in the GIS realm, it's amazing how much data is available easily. For well-planning workflows, that I'll use as an example, a lot of that takes place initially in ArcGIS, where you have your minerals and your lease boundaries and all of the pertinent information for that plan. And then when it steps over to the interpretation and geological range, so into kingdom, how many of you have had to spend all of your time loading shapefiles repeatedly in order to get that same type of information available to the interpreters so that they can continue the workflows? So I have a small area in kingdom, again, back in the Permian, where I'm working to do my well planning. Is that better? <laughs> Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Leave it to me to have technical, technical difficulties in a demo. It always happens. <laughs> so in any case, so in Kingdom, as I was saying, part of the problem is trying to get that information freely available. So we've started with Spatial Explorer. Spatial Explorer is the beginning of a platform that actually allows you to get to that same information. And what I have found is we added the ability to get to your map services. So finally, we're seeing the same data. But if any of you recognize the big yellow thing on my screen, I have a giant sticky note on my desktop that is what I've had to use forever to figure out which URLs I need to search out in order to find this data. Well, our clients and Esri came to us and said, you know, if you could just connect to ArcGIS for Portal, you can get all of that same information in one place instead of a bunch. So we added the Portal connection into Kingdom. So as a geologist, while I'm working in Spatial Explorer, I don't need to understand or know how to find all of the URLs. I can simply go to the same portal that all of the geospatial data has been registered in for use in other applications and pick and choose just like anybody else. So I can apply my filters, I can type in searches, I can multi-select and now choose exactly the same information that's been used in other places. So rather than have to turn on and look for each of the services, I can add them all at once. From there, I just turn on the data sets of interest to me and pull in that same set of fee leases you've seen in the earlier presentations. So once I have this in place, I can now combine it easily with my kingdom information so I can look at the same area that I plan on drilling. I can choose the right button. I can zoom in. I can take the interpretation that I've generated also in kingdom, drop it into that same map and start leveraging not only the interpretive information I created, but also the GIS information that's available for the well planning. From there, it's a simple matter of turning on the wells that I need. 
maybe pulling in well-planned areas, so the areas that I've planned in leases, validating that same set of, le of fee lease data to ensure that I really do have the right data in the background. Selecting those wells, the, the well plans that I've generated, and finally save them into kingdom so that I can continue on with my workflow in the interpretation space to do the additional well planning necessary. So I find that connecting to geospatial data and the geoscience data into a single workflow as an interpreter makes my life easier. By being able to go to portal and one place to find it, I don't need to worry about the sticky note on my desktop and all of the URLs that I have to track down. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Kay.